There's an epidemic. Single dads are taking over social media. Hide your girl, hide your mom, and maybe even your grandma because single dads are making thirst traps and they aren't joking around. Bruh. In the old days, if single dads wanted to meet single women, they would go to bars and... Actually, I, I don't know because I'm not a single dad. But where do single dads meet women? Your local park or playground? What? No, nah, but you get what I mean. You had the bar, the cafe, sporting events, and then came along dating apps. You got some great ones such as Bumble, Tinder, Grinder. Not that I personally recommend it or anything. What did he say? Hey. But anyways, an unintended outcome of TikTok and other apps is using it as a dating platform. And it's scary because your mom might be casually scrolling through some TikToks before she goes to bed until this guy lands on her for you page and sweeps her heart. <laughs> So for today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some single dad content because it's pretty entertaining and honestly pretty mind-boggling. I wanna start off by taking a look at a guy literally named Divorce Dad83 who has over 15,000 followers on TikTok and a cursed 66.6 thousand followers on Instagram. And based on that PP, you already know that we're in for an absolute juicy one. And after him, we'll be looking at a dude that goes by the name of J-Hop01, who's a combat war veteran and currently a firefighter. So those third traps about to be real wet. Stop it. Get some help. But before we get into this, if y'all could leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already, it truly would mean a lot. So with that being said, do these single dads have what it takes to find love? Let's roll the clip. Ew, dude, why are you breathing on me like that? Him always texting you up plus what you're doing. Me actually calling you every day and talking goals and improvement. I feel like that video is a perfect representation of the vibes that this guy gives off. As you can see, he's clearly trying to show that he's different from the rest. That pinky up while talking on the phone, you know he means business with his baby girl. But my favorite part about the video has to be the transition. Let me play you a short clip of the song that he used. What was that? Why does bro look like I'm about to choose him as a character in Mortal Kombat? You want a man who can defend you and your kids when someone breaks in your home in the middle of the night? This is your guy. Honestly, he's the perfect age to be Jake Paul's next opponent. And the people in the comments section are very kind. Someone said, accidentally left this on repeat while cooking dinner. My phone is now pregnant. As you can see, people are loving Cam because he don't give a f He's the main character. So this guy is kind of a pick me. He tries to assert his dominance by putting down other men and uplifting himself by saying that he's better than the rest. Delete has Number! It's also got some very strange content, such as this video here. I'll probably have a look at some outfits as well. So I might try some stuff on, and you might end up being like, oh yeah, actually that's that's quite good. What? Yeah, that could happen, I guess. Wait, what? Did this guy really gaslight the woman into giving himself a future compliment? I might try some stuff on, and you might end up being like, oh yeah, actually that's that's I am going to get a haircut and you will say that I look hot AF. Do you guys get it? Because he's bald and he'll just look the exact same. Look, I've heard of a lot of pickup lines, I've watched a lot of rom-coms, but never in my life have I seen a man try to peer pressure a woman into giving himself a compliment. So in this video, Cam's sister hired a professional stylist to up his wardrobe. His charming smile will only get him so far, so he's gotta up his fashion. He's filming her even though it doesn't seem like she wants to be filmed, judging by the fact that he points out she's not very talkative while choosing the clothing. <laughs> Side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. I'm gonna go look downstairs and get a couple of other things. Um, a pair of jeans. Oh 
my goodness! Bro! Guys, we did not need to see that. Winter is coming because he's got that Elon Musk abominable snowman type bod. So what happens next is that the professional stylist ends up picking out a few different outfits. Number one is very clean and formal. I like it. Number two and number three, I'm not a fan of. But number four, <laughs> if you know me, then you know I love the dad shirts. Look at this. This is my most recent purchase. It is a Corona one with some limes on it. It's a little bit snazzy, you know. I am very excited to wear this to the beach and uh, those, those barbecue days. I got a whole bunch of those shirts. I want to add more to my collection. So I'm really rating the fit, but he might want to consider wearing shoes because walking bare feet in the mall is deviant behavior. So what do the people think of this? Are they impressed with Cam's ability to clean up? Well, not really. Mate, you're proper creepy with them girls. God, this is a hard watch, Cam. Cam, she's uncomfortable with you recording. Look, I am rooting for this single, probably childless dad to find love, but he is weird with the ladies. This guy is trying to find love and there is no shame in that, but the problem with devoting your life to finding love is that he views everyday innocent behaviors as some more. For instance, you got this video here where he's secretly recording the bartender just doing her job and apparently she does this little dance when he goes to pay and he thinks he's flirting. This guy doesn't understand that bartenders prey on single men like this so that they can get bigger tips. And she's not even doing anything wrong, she's just smiling and showing off positive energy. But the problem is that he questions whether or not she's flirting, whether she's just acting this way to him, and he says she didn't do this dance for other customers. The fact that he filmed this and posted this online, just imagine the look of disgust on her face when she sees this video. Look, I've seen this before. As soon as you start reading into things and looking at women like there's some type of puzzle to be solved is when things get weird. I'm in Hawke's Bay, New Zealand, and I met a married couple online named Rudolph and Erin. Bro, what? Why does he look like he's about to tell us a spooky story in the middle of the woods beside a campfire? Honestly, the video is kind of sad. So he's hanging out with this married couple at a park and it was originally intended to be a double date, but unfortunately he got stood up. I did have a date that was meant to join, but she didn't arrive. But after watching this guy's videos, getting to know him a little better, you can kind of understand why. He's got confidence and I admire that. Just look at him slicking back his invisible hair, but he just can't put the phone down. Here's a video of Cam on a double date and this time the woman actually showed up. So this time the girl actually showed up, which is great, but he makes this whole documentary about the date, gives the couple a biography, and it's just really weird. And after watching the video, you can kind of understand why he gets stood up. So apparently he went to the bathroom, but when he got back, the other guy sat down where he wasn't supposed to, so Cam wasn't able to sit beside his date and had to sit beside the guy. Now the fact that he's blaming the guy rather than viewing the situation for what it is shows why Cam is a delusional pick me. Cam, I'm sorry to say, but she's just not interested and doesn't want to sit beside you. All of the recording probably made her real uncomfortable. Cam feels the need to record all of his interactions with women and it ultimately becomes his downfall. So this time he's on a regular date and again is recording it. But things don't go as well as he hoped because the woman kept eating from his plate. So apparently his meal came with eight pieces of tofu but she ate five of them. Like bro who does that? Nah taking your date's food without the permission should be a crime. But for real though who secretly records their date in the first place? Like what's bro gonna do? Show the chef the video so the chef gives her a spanking with his stainless steel ladle that he uses for soup. I mean, maybe I just don't understand and this guy's playing chess while I'm playing checkers because the amount of videos he has where he's going on first dates is insane. But what should actually be a crime is as a man making your date pay for your meal. Because if you're the one who asked her out on a date, then as the person who asked her, you're entitled to pay. His heart is in the right place, I hope. But he's got to chill with these TikToks and weirdly recording women that he interacts with. Enjoying the food? Enjoying the food? The stuff that he posts is weird, and I hope that this is all just an act, all satire, because if not, this is Joel Goldberg in the making. So the next single dad that I want to take a look at is when you have divorced dad 83's personality but identify as an alpha male and go to the gym. So you guys know how hot female celebrities usually have those weirdos who simp way too hard in the comments. Well what's interesting about this guy Josh Hopkins is that the tables have turned. You take a look at his comments and they are filled with women who have absolutely no shame and are publicly simping. Now why is everyone simping so hard? Well he posts thirst traps like this. Brother, ugh. 
what is this man doing with his tongue? You got some broccoli stuck in there? I googled best place to eat out and it showed a picture of you. I don't know what's more cringe, his videos or all of the people in the comments. Oh, daddy, you got me blushing. Ha ha ha, that's amazing that it said me. Girl, you know we ain't talking about you, right? Well then, what are you waiting for? Bro, there's no way that these women actually think that he's directly talking to them. Right? I don't know, the way that some of them be commenting, and I've seen them on multiple posts, I think that they're thinking he's actually making these videos for them. He's got so many of these types of videos. Oh my god. Oh my god. You will not believe who commented on that video. Divorce Dad 83. Divorce Dad strong together. I can't believe they know each other. This is incredible. It's truly amazing. As I said, it's an epidemic. Being exposed to one single dad ultimately creates another. And the symptoms that single woman experiences is that they are down horrendously bad. So in the video he says, I don't care how late we running behind. I said bend over right now quick babe. And the amount of simps in the comments is crazy. Anytime daddy. Yeah. Yes, daddy. Yes, daddy. Bro, what is up with all these close-up profile pictures? I, I am just in disbelief with the comments that I'm reading. Shit, you have to ask? LOL, all it takes is a look and poop. Oops, I think I dropped my whatever. Better bend over and find it. I have never seen a man make such cringe videos and have countless women simping over him. I mean, they're simping so hard that there's literally conversations going on between the simps. You know, it's not uncommon for veterans to have drug issues or even lose their home, depending on what they go through the psychological complications, it can make it very rough to reintegrate into society. But never, ever have I heard a veteran gone OF star and post thirst traps for a living. I don't know, it's not for me, but the chicks are digging in. He's even getting the attention of some real hot ones. But what is it like to have this charming, sweet 30 year old man as your lover? He'll take you on a luxurious vacation to the Bahamas. So a few months back, Mr. Joshua took a nice vacation to the Bahamas until we got into an argument with the married couple. It's just kind of ironic because on one side you got his thirst traps where he tries to come off across as a sweet giant teddy bear, but then the other side of him you got complete roid rage. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you think of J-Hop and Divorced Dad. Do they have any hope of finding love in this hopeless place? Found love in I randomly came across these two and their content was entertaining, so I wanted to share with you guys because I thought it would give you a good laugh. If you did enjoy my video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It truly would mean a lot. And if you guys want more Divorced Dad content, let me know because honestly, it was pretty fun putting this video together. But anyways, that's officially going to do it. So until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace.